What's up, everybody? This is your boy AC, and welcome back to another edition of LA Sports Live. You guys see the thumbnail, you see the title. I think the recent comments by Rasheed Wallace is bullshit. Um, you know, I watched the NBA for a number of years, and to me, there are about four different types of players. You got your average NBA player, he, you know, comes out of college or whatever, he makes it, makes a roster, plays for a number of years. You know, yada yada yada. Then you have what I say is a good player. Uh, that player might a good player. I mean, you know, he might be depending on the team, the best player on his team. You know, throughout his career, he may average something like a double double, or you know, he may be able to average eighteen to twenty points a game for three or four years or whatever. That's a good player. And then to me, then you have your 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 all star players, right? Your all star players, or even your perennial all star players, uh, players who are re- nationally recognized as the, one of the best players in the game, and they make the all star team multiple times. They lead the league in scoring multiple times. You know what I'm saying? They win. Uh, sometimes they win MVP awards. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes they win NBA championships. It's not a, a prerequisite to be uh, for any all star to win the title, but you know, sometimes that happens. And then the next level, the very next level, the top, the cream of the crop is a superstar player. You guys know what a superstar a superstar player Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant. Those type of guys are all, I mean, excuse me, superstar players. LeBron James, superstar player. Alan, well, I don't know about Alan Iverson, but you guys know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. You're not going to mention a player like a fucking Paul Pierce as a superstar player. No, he's not a superstar player. So, Rasheed Wallace, this dude, how many all-star games did Rasheed Wallace, he he, he played he play in the NBA over 10 years, only made two, two all-star games. So what does his opinion matter? It doesn't matter. It don't make no damn sense to me. Look here, and and if he's talking about LeBron's physicality, oh, he, w- what is the reason why he says LeBron couldn't play in that era? LeBron is the same damn size as Carl Malone. Carl Malone, Carl Malone played in the eighties and and played LeBron and played uh, MJ in uh and it you know during his last run in the finals, and more than he held his own. Carl Malone's the second leading scoring in the league history. LeBron's the same size as him. So, and, and a better athlete than Carl Malone. Faster than Carl Malone. So, why would you think that uh, 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 LeBron couldn't play in that era? Man, it's a bunch of bullshit. How the hell, how the hell did Isaiah kick ass in the 80s and he was only 6'1"? By that logic. Just doesn't make any sense to me, man. Just doesn't make sense. Make sense. So it must be something else, you know. He must be. This must be something else about LeBron that uh, that he thinks that he wasn't strong enough to uh, play in that era. I don't know if he's talking about his basketball IQ, his basketball acumen, his heart, or whatever. But look here, man. Look. Let me give you an example here. Michael Jordan. Mike. You guys don't ever talk about this, but Michael Jordan used to get his ass whooped. He used to get his ass stomped by the Celtics and then the Pistons. And then you remember you remember the Jordan rules. They just knock his ass all over the place. He used to get back up, but you know they 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 used to treat him. They used to ragdoll him. The, the Pistons used to ragdoll him. But guess what? Jordan got tired of the shit, bulked up. And then when they got when those other teams got a little bit a little bit older, then he had his run. But my point is, what did Jordan do? Jordan was losing, and then he made some adjustments, and then he started winning. He started dominating. So I don't understand why couldn't another great player like LeBron do the same thing? Why would you say um, that he wouldn't have the same success when you when you like I said, man, when you reach that superstardom, man? You're the best of the best. You're the cream of the crop. You're going to rise to the top. So, you know, that leaves me. uh, The only thing I can think of is just hate. You know what I'm saying? That's just hate by old Rashid, man. It's just, hey, man, that's a bad thing to, to hate another man um, just because he's great. Just because he lived up to all the hype for the most part. And, uh, and you probably, a lot of people probably tired of hearing about LeBron James, man. But it ain't his fault, man. It ain't his fault, man. And look here, I got another video because I got something to say about that damn stupid ass Laker hating ass Paul Pierce talking about LeBron James and the Lakers and Rich Paul and all that kind of stuff. Look here, man. Don't hate. Congratulate. Anyway, guys, that's that's all I got to say on the situation. Uh, I'm out of here. Later.